What's up everybody, Hunter here. Today I wanted to take a look at Gatsby as being more than a static site generator. Uh, they can also fetch dynamic data, which makes it a lot more flexible and it comes with all the benefits of being a static site generator because of the SEO values and such. So let's take a look at what we have here. I have the Gatsby starter blog installed which you can get from their GitHub page or from their website. And in the VS Code, we have done nothing to it. It's just the starter blog. Uh, we're starting from scratch on that. But I wanted to pick that because it demonstrates the SEO static site generation powers of Gatsby down here. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. But let's just get this static site going. Um, we'll do a Gatsby develop to get it up on our local host. And we should be seeing it pretty soon. And the API we're trying to get dynamic data from is this Star Wars API. Uh, it's pretty simple to use and who doesn't like Star Wars, am I right? So we have it up on local host. 8,000. This is the starter blog. Uh, just to prove that we're on there. We'll, you know, type some stuff here, save it up, and here it is. Alright, so we have the blog, and let's add some dynamic data. So, what do we do first? We want to add some state. Right, and then to get data in React, you would usually do a component did mount. Okay. And then you do your data fetching in the component did mount. So in state, you usually have something like a loading, which you set to like, if you want to start it immediately, I'll set it to true. Then an error, which we're probably not going to use, but you know. We have it in here and then the fetched data. So normally I would do data, but data is already being used down here. So we're going to do like fetch data. And that's going to be an empty array. Okay, and then in component did mounts, how do you fetch data? Well, you can do it using the fetch API, which is the easiest way because it's just built into JavaScript. Or you can use something like Axios, which I kind of like a little better than Fetch, but just to keep things simple, we'll use Fetch. So, Fetch, and then the URL goes in here. And then we go to our Star Wars API. We're going to copy. Uh, let's actually see what this one looks like. I think it just gives some people. So, let's just use that one. So, and then people. And then you can use async await here, or you can just use the then syntax. I'm just going to use then because it's, you know, pretty easy. Response. And then we'll console log the response just to see if we get it to work. Okay. So, no trickeries here. If you're working with Create React app, you're basically doing this all day, right? and then you render it down here. When you're doing with the Gatsby, you have to consider that it can also, down here, pull in static data, um, or pull in data from a dynamic source and make it static during the build process. So if you don't know how this works, I suggest you check out uh, the Gatsby tutorial. But essentially, they have a GraphQL um, system going to get data and then during the build time they'll inject this data into the static HTML files and that is where you get the static site superpowers and it has all these SEO benefits because the the content is in the code on the site whereas if you do it dynamically it will not be in the like if you go to view source like this stuff won't be there but uh, you can kind of use this when needed 
when you need SEO and if you use this part it's technically like you don't need SEO for this data like if you have an app and it's behind a authorization then you don't really need SEO for that and you can just use something like this okay anyways let's take a look at what we have um, if we go to our first our network tab and we do a little refresh is it going to get anything I didn't save it alright save we're looking for a network okay here we go so this is in the network tab this is getting the API we're doing a get and then here's the results right and then in our console you get the data back so it's working and now we want to return uh, the response make it JSON and then here we can do another then and then we have the JSON so this stuff kind of gets into the next then and then we can console log this JSON and take a look at what's happening okay so now our data looks like this it's more manageable before it had like all this other network request headers stuff alright so now what we need is these results right because we want to display the name here so this down here is static this up here will be dynamic alright so now how do we do that well with react you do this dot set state and then we'll set the fetched data to JSON dot results. Okay, and then we'll make loading false. And now down here, let's kind of separate this a little bit. So we'll do a const fetched data this dot state. And then we also do loading here. We won't do error, but like normally you would do a error handling with a dot catch down here. But I'm gonna skip that part just to keep things simple. Okay, so let's make a little separator here so we can see the difference. So maybe like a bunch of pluses or something. Okay. So everything down here is the static stuff. Up here will be the dynamic stuff. Let's just see if we can get uh, printing to the screen. So fetched data dot map. And then we have the character. And we can just return P's. And then what does it look like? Okay, so the results. So it'll be we'll do the name, character dot name, right? So character dot name. Also gonna need a key on this because every time you do a map in React, you want a key. And it should be uh, unique. They don't have an ID on here. I'm just gonna use a name again. Hopefully it's unique enough. Okay. So what will we see here? Let's give it a refresh. Okay, we see our names now. So this part is going to be the dynamic data, which has no SEO juice. Okay, this part is the static data that is being generated by Gatsby when you do the Gatsby build. It has all kinds of SEO juice, right? So this is a hybrid approach. If you don't really care about SEO on some parts, like feel free to use the dynamic stuff. It is super convenient. And if you want it to be SEO friendly, you'll need to make sure it can play well with the Gatsby GraphQL data sourcing uh, system. Okay, so let's add in like a loading checker, right? So you would do, if it's loading, then you would display like the loading 
loading dot 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 otherwise we're going to show our fetch data right all right so make sure it still works loading sets to false once we've loaded everything so we get loading and then our data comes in okay so let's do a Gatsby build and see what happens okay so that was Gatsby developed before now we'll do a Gatsby build and let's just let's look at the actual index and see what's in the HTML and then you'll see that the difference between the dynamic and the static and we'll also do a little deploy to see if this dynamic stuff works so uh, once you do Gatsby build the stuff is in public so we'll cd into the public directory let's open it up in VS Code new window sure All right, index if you go just so this is all the static site stuff that Gatsby pumps out so we're an index we're looking at Okay, so here are the posts. Here's the plus 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 separator, right? So all this stuff is in the code, but the dynamic stuff is not. It just says loading, right? Which is as expected. But does this actually work when we deploy it? Well, let's find out. Let's go back. Um, I'm going to deploy with Surge. Uh, if you've never used Surge before, I suggest you check it out. Surge.sh. You can deploy static sites ultra easily. You just type in Surge, the folder, hit enter, and you're there. Hey, look, it made me a hilarious domain name, annoying account. Okay. So it publishes it to an annoying account. Let's go check it out. Loading. Boom. There we go. It's working as deployed and here is dynamic here is static um, you can use Axios as I mentioned before for this or you can even use like Apollo GraphQL I think one of the Gatsby guys did a video about it um, I'll probably do one in a little bit as well but you can use Apollo GraphQL which makes it a little confusing because then you have two GraphQL things going on but I feel like GraphQL is the future, so it's worth taking a look into. Or you can just use Fetch, like I did, and it's super simple. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. You guys have a good one.